was like what properties. So ideally, single family homes, mm -hmm. townhomes, condos, mobile homes with our platinum program where you're putting... What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I have a special guest and also opportunity for all of us to see and hear how does rent to own works. I know right, if you are planning to buy a property and sometimes you cannot afford it yet, you are going to rent it first so that you can save some money and at the same time you can work on your credit and all that stuff. But today I have a special guest who will show us and also give us some tips and advice how does rent to own works. Okay, if you haven't heard about rent to own, so make sure to watch this video from this start until the end so that you can get some knowledge regarding renting and also owning the property at the same time all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe and also most of the important thing smash that like button for me also i just want to clarify that i'm not a financial advisor i am not a lawyer or an accountant this video is particular for entertainment and educational purposes only are we going that one so let's jump into it what is going on guys this is rj bautista top realtor here in central florida with exp realty and today i'm with my good buddy all the way from alaska james James Brown, who is the realtor as well, and also a owner or business owner of Red to Own. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you some example or some advice for those tenants or for those renters who would like to do a rent to own. As I have a client, out-of-state client, all the way from New York, she wants to move here in Florida, and then she's looking for rent to own. So as I thought, like James, who could give us some example or advice, what we could do for those people like you know who would like to do this kind of stuff instead of renting they think like they're just wasting money but some people think like why we could do rent to own when you're renting and then owning the property in the future so for that instant james will help us to tackle this question and also give us some advice what the best thing to do when doing the rent to own so james would you like to introduce your name and also what you do yeah James Brown with Real Home Solutions. I'm also with EXP Realty, like RJ. Yeah, we focus on rent to own, helping people in the right way with rent to own. Rent to own has been given a bad name by companies and people that do it the wrong way, set people up for failure, and we do it a different way to make it wants to rent and then own can actually end up buying the house. I guess I'll just dive in. Main thing that differentiates what we do is really getting into your story, your renting and want to buy and figure out why you can't get a loan now and what you need to do in the future. So part, a big part of that is getting with a lender, somebody that can give you a mortgage either now. Sometimes you think, oh, I, I can't get a loan, but there's some really good programs out there and you can just go out and work with somebody like RJ or myself and buy now. Down payment assistance programs, those kind of things. Now, if we figure out, you know, you can't get a loan now, we need to know what that is, what's holding you back. And that could be multiple things, you know, like self-employed people, you know, you need like two full years being self-employed, showing income, and you just need time, you know, other things come up like, you know, life happens, um, divorce, uh, medical bills, things like that, that may have wrecked your finances and you have credit issues. So once we know that and have worked with a lender, the lender's the one that's going to say yes or no, you know, now or in the future. So that's really the key is, that's is going to that. Yeah. I have like a three questionnaires, a simple one for those people who's watching this for our audience. My client asked me this question like about rent to own before. So I would like to ask you, James, and maybe you could help us give some advice for these three questionnaires. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> the first question I have here in my phone, what is the advantage and disadvantage of renting a property using rent to own? What would you advise to this one, James? Well, the advantage is being able to pick out a house and move into it right away and not have to continue to rent or like you know I, I run into this situation where a lot of landlords are selling their property and they want to get out and they have to kicking out their tenant that could be you <laughs> as a, a tenant and then you're like oh no I wanted to buy a house and now I got to go find another rental and move all my stuff yeah. like that's the, that's a big that's advantage of it yeah so you don't have to move around and find another place I know how hard because I'm from the Philippines I moved to the UK and I moved here and then I moved my 
another place. So it's hard. It's really hard. What about the disadvantage of that one? Depending on the, the program or platinum program, you have to put money down. So you have to have that money to put down. We look for around 10% of the purchase price. Not everybody's got that, but that gives us some advantages and flexibility on which property, like you're not stuck with a metro area, particular school district and have to have like a minimum credit score of like 620. Mm -hmm. Um, there's other programs that we work with that you don't have to put as much down. And most of those programs you, you're required to or asked to handle maintenance and repairs. So the toilet's running. You can't oh, just be yeah. calling the <laughs> the landlord for everything, you know? Yeah, it's true. So that's about disadvantage. But that's a good, very good answer for that one. So the second question that I would like to ask here is what is the difference between renting a normal property and rent to own property? I know they are like, you know, you are renting, but someone asked me this before, what was the difference of if you're renting to own and then just renting, the, you know, like a normal property? I mean, maybe you could give some advice about this one. Yeah, they're very similar. You, you have a lease and that you have to pay each month. There's really no no other difference besides that you've got the option to to buy it in the future. What I like about like most the, our program and some others that we work with, getting to pick out the property. So you know that you want to keep it out. Yeah. Sorry, would you be able to pick the property that you like and then like this tenant or this renter want to rent this one and then the landlord doesn't want to do the rent to own. Can they say like, hey, landlord, I want to rent your property. Can I do rent to own? Can they say that to the landlord? Are you saying uh, like the landlord backing out? For example, the property is just like, let's say for rent. Mm -hmm. The landlord doesn't want to rent to own that property. And then this tenant or the renter wants to rent that one. And then he's thinking about like rent to own in the future. Can he ask that one to the landlord? Sure. Anyway. Yeah, you yeah, can always ask. Yeah. And like in this previous market, you know, it was a good time to sell. And at any point, uh, a, a landlord may want to sell. And if you've been a good tenant, they'd be like, you know, more likely to say, yeah, I'd like to. Let's look and see, you know, when you can buy and, and, and set up that agreement. Definitely get everything in writing. Yeah, of course. With a real estate agent and a, I'd have an attorney look over the documents. So. Okay, that's pretty good. This is what I think about renting to own when you're leasing a car. That is similar when you like when you're finished leasing the car, you have an option to buy the car or put it back to the dealership or continue your lease that's similar to this kind of yeah. option right like yeah. To own. yeah exactly yeah okay i just want to clarify that for those people who's confused about this one so last question the number three question that i have here how much does the renter or tenant normally have to pay for deposit advanced rent etc to rent to own property and what qualification do they need to qualify for you know to become a tenant yeah um, there's a lot to unpack there. So um, like I, I mentioned before, some programs require a 620 credit score or higher. Mm -hmm. um, with with our program, you're putting more down mm -hmm. than a program like that. Your credit can be lower than that. So that's kind of what we dig into first is like, what's your credit score at? How much do you have to put down? And what do you want to pay each month? So let's see what else was in, the, in that. There was a, like three questions in one there. Yeah, um, sorry. Uh, I said as well, like how much deposit that do they need to provide? let's say if they have like a higher deposit like a rent will be like lower or will be the same it can yeah yeah we try like we try to find a good balance like if you put more down maybe your rent's a little bit lower it's still going to be you know similar to market rent you know because somebody willing to buy that house for you <laughs> and it's a risk for them so they want to make some money um because they're they're putting up a bunch of money too so there's kind of a variety of different programs so the lowest one i know is basically two months rent is awesome. the deposit you know similar to to a rental a little bit higher than just putting one extra month down up to 20% say that's 20% pretty of the purchase price yeah I have like a bonus question regarding to this one because I know here in Florida we have a lot of HOA you know if you move here wherever you go we have HOA in your rent to own does the HOA will be included you need to pay that separately or does the landlord have to pay that for you when you're renting the property. Yeah, the landlord would pay their their mortgage and the HOA, and then and regular rent. You the HOA for what, while you're renting. Just like when you're most rentals, right? You're paying the HOA also. Mm, okay. There's nothing free. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know it's true. I consider that We're so high. And, and I think one of your questions too, when I read the before, was like, what properties? So ideally, single family homes. Mm -hmm. 
townhomes, condos, mobile homes with our platinum program where you're putting, you know, around 10% or more of the purchase price down, we can look at those, but there's, there's some subtleties and possible risks to those basically for getting a loan. Yeah. Buying a condo, some are, there's warrantable or non-warrantable. You might be able to get a, a loan, mm-hmm. but it might be a really high interest rate. And so we want to know that ahead of time so that wow. no one's caught off guard with single family homes and, and town homes that mm-hmm. are fee simple. Yeah. Those ones are more ideal. More ideal. More straightforward. Yeah. Okay. You know. No problem. Uh, do you have any like a last tip, I would say, advice to those people who would like to do this rent to own like as a tenant? Last advice that you could share to them? If you're working with any company, because there's other ones you can go directly to, they're not going to require you to go to a lender first get with a lender even though they don't require it get with a lender and find out exactly what you need to do to get along in the future and and make sure that you can stick with that plan so that you can buy it so that you can actually you know become a homeowner that's my number one advice that's good when you're buying a house you need to get pre-qualified with the lender so kind of similar right. so that's all i've got today thank you so much james for your time you know answering all my questions and also would you like like to say that if people want to find you, if they have some more question in the future, would you like to say them where they can find you, your social, even though I will put your social link underneath of this video, feel free to say where they can find you. Yeah, uh, realhomesolutions.org. So you see the sign, okay. Real Home. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, dot org, not dot com. Dot org, yeah. Uh, yeah, and if you're in the Florida market, go, you know, ask RJ if he can help you because we needed a realtor involved to help this process so if you're in florida reach out to him so that i know that you're working with him okay thank you so much jane for your time again and i hope you find this value for those people who are watching this i will put also my email address down here and also my work phone number if you need something you know you can email me or text me and also if you have any question feel free to reach out either me or james or any question regarding this rental once again thank you guys for watching this video and until next time i'm out for today Peace. Thank you, James. Uh, what?